That's a good ribs. You want some more? Another one. It's a here. Da 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 da. Hello. Chiaia When we came to Wati before for planning meetings, some of the elders who are here, they marked down the spots where they wanted water sampled and where they wanted fish sampled. So this is the this is the same map we came up with. The orange areas is where people said that it was a good place to set nets for fish. Blue circles are where water sampling was decided. We gotta go to that, that, that point, then we gotta go around. Eh? Ah, okay. I said, do now, you don't quit in our I said, 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 I at this camp here in Wati, we're doing water and fish samples and also having youth and elders from the community to participate so that they get a better understanding of how the samples are done and the different reasons why. And at the same time, any questions that they have for themselves or to better understand why they're being done, they have opportunity to ask. The sensors and everything moist so they don't dry out. And the samples that we take could also be used for baseline studies prior to any development or changes in the landscape or rivers. And they can come back to the exact same spot and they'll do the exact same test. So from four years ago to four years in the future, we can check if there's any change in the water purity or water cleanliness. 294.1. Temperature 9.09. .09. 9.09 .09. total dissolved solids 0 0.1880 today what we'll do is we go out on the lake and we'll deploy one of the nets a 100 meter by 2 meter net and we're targeting anything on the bottom so it's a, a bottom set gill net and hopefully we'll catch a fair number of whitefish and lake trout for five years now I've spent part of my summers working with the fleet show at various communities where we go to a lake where the community is located and we assess the state of the lake by looking at sediment, water and fish. Oh, here's a white fish. Fish is good, not bad. A lot of lake trout and a few white fish. Okay. We're getting a grip on this, the current state of affairs in terms of the fish 
and we have something now to compare later in, in time on which way it goes. It may never change and it may stay as it is now, but we have to be able to assess it periodically. When you're holding it up, don't put it on your knee because when it closes, it's going to hurt. beautiful net set. Perfect condition, perfect like setting itself. I'm just taking up space in the boat. Not she has won a dirty tea, so she won a dirty tea. Didn't they get that so what had that you go color day? Had Nissy won a dirty tea. I may see who is the worker, or see that you got a dear hat. You had done a so we hate this on you. The hunger got a tea and a good tea. A year had new good tea on the honey a lot of good tea. Etta The older I guess with this opening prayer, I guess it says that the news today was our first day as we recover a large ground all day to day and I think everybody did what they were doing. We did our share of work and we're all happy. planning meetings every morning, that's part of it. You know your backyard, so it's what's what's going on with the weather or what your feeling is about it. If you don't think it's a good idea to go, we're not going. It's that simple. There's fish that were caught last night. Paul very much wants to start the processing of the fish. So today's the opportunity for fish sampling. 20 white fish and 20 lake trout would be perfect. All right, gather around, guys. Now remember, white fish don't spawn every year. They spawn every two to three years up here. And this guy is for sure going to be spawning in around a month. 
That's my goal, to show them what I process each fish for. So how I take an aging structure, for example, from the head of a whitefish, very important. And you go a little bit behind that joining point. You have to be careful. Inside these capsules of jelly are bones. There is one, look at this. The secret to everything lies in here. My personal hope is to have a lot of the youth opened up to the scientific and the exploration and the sample part so that eventually these youth will help me work myself out of a job so that it's they're, they're the ones that will take everything further. I guess I was selected for the fish camp and then I decided to go because I wanted to be out on the land instead of in my community. The fish fillet, I mean that's what I really miss because that's what my grandpa used to cook but then now he's not really around. And yeah, that's what I really miss is the fish fillet. Once they're done cooking, they just yell out our name and we just run there like children. When Sean Richardson mentioned something about environmental monitor, I was actually I was actually inspired by it, and I'm actually thinking about taking that program next year, when I, after I graduated. I'm out here because I never went on the lands for many years with uh, my grandpa, and I miss the lands, so I choose to come here. I did a lot of things. I made a teepee. I helped around with chores, to go for woods, help out those people with the water and fish. Should be good for the youth right now to come out of the lands, learn all this stuff before all the elders are gone. <laughs> Clothes in the